Britain's Digital Railway. Why do we have to slow down to go round corners? Do you think it's to make sure we enjoy the view? Oh, look, cows! Nah, trains just can't go that fast when there's a tight bend. Just imagine, if the track was in one big straight line, downhill even, our journeys would be over in a flash. Pew! Britain's railways need to accommodate higher passenger numbers, as well as running trains closer together. Faster speeds can help grow capacity. Trains have speed limits to keep them safe, and they have different speed limits depending upon the type of train they are and where they are. As Bex has said, trains might have to slow down to go around curves, especially when they're really twisty. But if we can travel faster, more journeys can be made and more people can use the railways. But achieving higher speeds isn't always easy, especially when we have to work with the existing rail network. If trains could travel in straight lines all the time and without any dips and bumps, then higher speeds would not be a big issue. But Victorian engineers often worked with a landscape when building the railways, following the route of valleys, as that was cheaper than digging expensive tunnels and building viaducts. Engineers today look to straighten parts of the track where they can. This might mean buying some land and demolishing some buildings to create a clear way. But you can't straighten track everywhere, especially in hilly parts of the country, or in built-up areas, or indeed underneath the streets of London. Engineers can also help speed up trains by removing bottlenecks that might be an area through which lots of trains need to travel in different directions, crossing the path of other trains, which means everyone needs to slow down to take their turns through the signals. By building flyovers, a line can cross above other tracks rather than across them. Is it me or is this train leaning? It's not you, this is a tilting train. In the 1970s, engineers started to explore a concept well known to motorcyclists that of leaning into the curve. As a train or other vehicle rounds a curve at speed, objects inside experience inertia, which can cause objects to slide about and passengers to feel squashed or lose their balance. Tilting trains are designed to counteract this discomfort. In a curve to the left, the train tilts to the left to compensate for the g-force push to the right and vice versa. It takes a lot of power to travel at high speeds. That means more fuel is needed. As electric trains take their power from a rail or overhead line, they don't need to carry their own fuel. This makes them lighter and able to both accelerate and brake faster than diesel trains. Electric trains are more cost-effective, more environmentally friendly and quieter. Using modern technology, computers can optimize how trains accelerate and brake. Using train management systems, trains will know how far trains ahead of them are and apply the brakes more efficiently to maximize its speed. Now trains are not going to take risks, but using technology, trains know better than a human exactly where and when to brake. And with modern technology, the process of braking can create power that can be used by the trains to move, just like a hybrid car. Oh, it looks like we're on the straight again. Full speed ahead. Bye, cows. Britain's Digital Railway. With support from the Royal Academy of Engineering. Find out more at bunkidslive.com slash railway.